All right, now today's tutorial will be slightly different. We will be covering three questions in sequence. So the first one is on assumption method. Next one is on grouping technique. And the third one will be on difference remain same or what is known as difference unchanged. Okay, so let's discuss the very first question from the school, Nanhua Primary School, SA1 P6 2019 actual examination question mr ng bought 208 t-shirts and shorts all together he paid a total of three thousand and fifty dollars each t-shirt costs fourteen dollars and each pair of shorts costs twenty dollars how many t-shirts did mr ng buy how many pairs of shorts did mr ng buy now to do this since we know the total number of items and the total cost as well and the cost of each item but we do not know the split right the split in the sense that how many items of each did he buy we can either use the guess and check which will be a longer method or the assumption method which is a more organized faster method all right so we're going to practice on our assumption method so how many t-shirts did mr ng buy so to find the number of t-shirts we will assume the opposite so step number one we assume all 208 items are okay not t-shirts but shorts all right second step we find a new total cost. Which will be equals to 208 times the cost of each short. That is $20. 208 times $20. For one six zero. All right, of course, we know that the total cost is not this much. Okay, this is just an imagination and assumption. Okay, so third step, we find the difference in the total cost, which will be 4160 minus 3050. Okay. The difference between the imagined cost, the assumed cost, and the actual cost. Triple one. Zero. Fourth step to the assumption method is to find the difference in each. Difference in each item. Alright, that will be $14, $20. Okay, so what's the difference between these two? $20 minus $14, that will be $6. Alright, and the last step, you will be able to find the opposite of this. Okay, if you have assumed that all are short at the start, and then at the end here, you will be able to get a number of t-shirts. Okay, so number of t-shirts. Take the big difference, divide it by the smaller difference. Triple one zero, divide by six. And we'll get 185 t-shirts as our answer for part A. Okay, now for part B, how many pairs of shorts did Mr. Ng buy? 208 take away 185 because in total we know he bought 208 items right so answer will be 23 for part b and we can do a quick check okay so how do we check 185 t-shirts each t-shirt is 14 dollars one four 23 shots each shot is 20 dollars 
total spent $3,050. This is a check that you can do, which is correct, right? Because he indeed, he spent $3,050. Question two is on a grouping technique. In fact, this came out in PSLE Math a few years ago. All right, let us discuss. At a marathon, each participant completed either 5km, 7km or a 9km route. One quarter of the participants completed the 5km route, 9 over 20, 7km route and the rest, 9km route. Now, for every 1km a participant ran, $3 was donated to charity. A total of $6,390 was donated to charity. What is the ratio of the number of participants who completed the 5km route to the number who completed the 7km route to the number who completed the 9km route? That's for part A. For part B, what is the total number of participants at the marathon? Now, for the first question, all right, we know the fractions involved, okay? So, what we know is the people who completed the 5km route, one quarter of them did that, all right? Those who completed the 7km route, 9 out of 20 did that. And those who completed the 9km route, the rest of them, which means one whole, Take away a quarter, take away 9 out of 20, and we'll get the rest of this fraction. 3 over 10. Alright, so how do we find the ratio then? Okay, what we need to do is ensure that we are dealing with the same denominators. So at the moment, there's a 10 there, there's a 20 there, there's a 4 there. Alright, we need to make it the same. Why? Because the total units of people in this marathon must be the same. Okay, so what's the common multiple between 4, 20 and 10? That would be 20, so times 5, times 5, 5 over 20, times 2, times 2, 6 over 20. So if you see, right, the total units is 20. Okay, for the 5 km people, 5 units of them. 7 km, 9 units of them. 9 km route, 6 units of them. And when you take 5 plus 9 plus 6, add them all up together, indeed, you will get 20 units. Okay, so what is the ratio for part A? 5 km people is to 7 km people is to 9 km people 5 is to 9 is to 6 so just take these numbers here here and here final answer for part a now let's talk about part b now what is the total number of participants at this marathon now to do this we need to make use of the donation amounts all right so we know that the amount collected is 6390 and for every 1 km, $3 was donated. So what is the total distance ran by everyone? This will be 6390 divide this by $3. 6390 divide by 3, 2, 1, three zero kilometers now now that we know the total distance ran we need to make use of our ratio and the total distance ran and we can use what is known as a grouping technique okay so what we do is in one group of runners there will be five people running five km each there will be 9 people running 7 km each and there will be 6 people running 9 km each. All I've done, right, friends, is to use this ratio. Use this ratio, okay? So in one group of runners, 
distance ran will be how much is the distance right now five of them ran 5 km each nine of them ran 7 km each six of them ran 9 km each okay so 5 times 5 km plus 9 times 7 km plus 6 times 9 km 5 times 5 plus 9 times 7 plus 6 times 9 142 kilometers all right so now this is just for one group of runners but of course we know that the total distance ran is more than 142 so definitely there's more than one group so next step we find the number of groups Two one three zero divide by one four two. Fifteen of such groups, okay, and in each group there's five plus nine plus six people. Five plus nine plus six. Five plus nine plus six. Twenty. You can use the calculator, okay, because this is actually a problem sums question, and total runners fifteen times twenty. 15 groups of 20, right? So that will be 300 participants as our answer for part B. Third question. This is also a past PSLE question. Now at first, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in a chess club was 4 is to 1. Boys, girls. After 6, boys and six girls joined the club the ratio changed it became three is to one boys girls all right now before we go on to the question okay we need to understand the concept that is being tested here when there's an equal number of items or people equal number of boys and girls who join the club we can say that difference between the boys and girls must remain the same. Now, let me explain to you. Let's say, for example, okay, boys, girls. Let's say we have 30 boys and 10 girls. Okay? What will be the difference at the start? It will be 20, right? 30, take away 10, that will be 20. Now, Let's say an equal number of boys and girls join. Let's say five. Okay, we add five here. Five boys join the club and five girls join the club as well. So the new number of boys will be 35. New number of girls will be 15. What is the difference between 35 and 15 then? 20. Okay, so as you can see, the difference remain same. Why? Because you had an equal number of boys and girls joining. This also works if an equal number of boys and girls, let's say they, they're not happy with the club and they decide to quit, let's say take away 8 of them. So 22 boys left, take away 8 of the girls. 2 girls left. 22 minus 2, you will still get the same difference. Alright, so please take note of this. Okay, so difference, unchanged problem sums. Part A, did the percentage of members who are boys increase, decrease or remain same? Show you are working clearly. Now, before, alright, we had boys, girls, total. Okay, so 4 is to 1 is to Total units, 4 plus 1, that will be 5 units in total. So what is the percentage of boys in the before case? It will be 4 over 5 times 100 percentage. That will be 80%. Okay? Now, after, what happened to the ratio of B is to G is to T? Now, this will become 3 is to 1 is to 4. 
Okay, so boys percentage will be 3 over 4 times 100% right now. And that will be 75%. Now, as you can clearly see, the percentage of members who are boys decreased. Okay, it decreased from 80% to become 75%. Alright, so this is the key word here and that is decreased. Okay, so you need to do the calculation before and after to investigate what happened to the percentage there. Now, for part B, in the end, how many boys were there in the club? To do this, we need to draw out our BCA table, before, change and after. Alright, and note that the difference is the same. So, before, change and after. Okay, so we have for the boys, we also have for the girls, and we have a difference as well. Okay, so for boys, at the start, it will be four units. Girls, one unit. The difference will be four minus one, three units, right? Okay, because how do I get four and one? It's from here. Now, later on, it became three is to one. Okay, later on it became 3 part, 1 part, so 3 minus 1, that will be 2 parts, okay? So what we do is, we have to make sure the difference is the same. We cannot have 3 and 2 here as I've explained earlier, because we have an equal number of boys and girls joining. 3 and 2, we must push it to a common multiple. So we times 2 here to get to 6, we times 3 here to get to 6 as well. So when we do that, this becomes 6 units, 2 units, 8 units. Everything gets multiplied by 2. At the bottom, everything gets multiplied by 3. And you change everything to units as well. Times 3, so this will be 3 units. Times 3, so this will be 9 units. At the top, we multiplied by 2 earlier on. Okay? So as you can see, the difference is now the same. Very nice. Okay, 6 units, 6 units. Girls, 2 units, 3 units, 8 units became 9 units. Why is that so? Essentially, you are adding 1 unit for the boys. Adding same 1 unit for the girls also, right? From 8, became 9. From 2, it became 3. Add one unit, add one unit. Why is that so? Why is it equal? Because six boys and also six girls joined the club. So what can we say about one unit? One unit is six. And to know the number of boys in the end that were in the club, that would be nine units. 9 times 6, answer 54 boys in the club in the end. Part B's answer. And with that, we've done the three questions.